there. So early voting starts today at 9 a.m., but Election Day voting starts at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Time's running out. Those early voting locations experience some long lines, especially on our good weather days. George is here with me. At, uh, we're outside the UIC Student Center where they have an early voting location. What's your strategy or thoughts about early voting or voting on Election Day? I think... Um a lot of us wait to the last second to vote on election day because of our schedules. Mm -hmm. But I think for the early, early voting, <clears throat> the more convenient they make it for us, especially the young generation here, it'll be a lot easier. And the fact that they have it at the school is wonderful because you can just go between classes and vote right. and feel like you're part of it instead of waiting until tomorrow and not making it because they're busy schedules. Yeah, that's why they offer early voting. They're saying, though, that younger people, Gen Z especially, are not uh, turning out in numbers like um, the election officials would like to see. Oh, that's for, uh, I, I can see that. I think we're just not that much of a rush right now mm -hmm. in terms of getting out to vote. I think especially with classes and work, and we're just so packed with so many things that it's in our mind, it's in our thoughts, and we try to get out, but I think a little bit of hesitation waiting for the last second is probably one of our biggest flaws that we have right now. Do you find that people in your generation are even talking about the election? Do they have strong feelings about it? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're definitely talking about it. It's definitely being talked about in class. Uh, people have definitely picked their sides, and we talk about the issues, you know, depending what class we're on. So, yes, it's definitely much around the school. That's great, but getting around to voting, that still needs to get done, huh? <laughs> I think if it's a little bit more easier access, especially for younger ones, I think they would vote more. I think they would get out more. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of them, like, at the end of the day, don't really want to head out somewhere else to vote, but if it's at their school, like they have it here, then it's going to be a bigger turnout, I think, for the younger generation. All right. George, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're, You're going to vote today or tomorrow? I'm probably going to vote today now that I know it's here at the school. I didn't, I didn't know because I didn't, I didn't see the advertisement for it, but now okay. that you told me, I'm mean, just going to vote today. Excellent. Thank you thank, so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for explaining uh, about the younger voters. Hey, I want to tell you that there were surprisingly long lines. Uh, we have some video from Union Park. That's the 27th Ward. The voters there said they have never had to wait in past elections, but they were waiting a long time, and then there were wait times up to three hours in places like Truman College and Wells Park. They are traditionally very busy locations. So on election day, you can go to the precinct near your home. You can go to any early voting site, but you can't go to just any old precinct. Uh, you can vote almost anywhere, but not another precinct. It's either your own or an early voting site tomorrow at 6 a.m. Today, early voting opens at 9. And then tomorrow, remember, if you're in line by 7, stay in line because you still have your chance to vote. Reporting live at UIC, I'm Joni Lum. Back to you.